Today I have the privilege of speaking with Scott Moore from Eurosun Mining. How are you today, Great. Scott? Thanks, Tracy. Okay, we're seeing gold prices move up. We keep waiting to see it impact juniors and junior leaders. Can you tell us when you anticipate the impact? Well, it, it's, we're, we're starting to see better liquidity. I'm not sure stock price hasn't moved uh, dramatically, but I think it'll start trickling down, particularly at, you know, $1,500 gold has been around this price for a good 60 days, you know, as it ramped up quickly. And if it maintains even 1400 I think that's going to be a whole new gold environment into the new year. We're spending a lot of time trying to bring new investors from, say, the cannabis market, encouraging them to diversify. So could you tell us what the competitive advantages are for Eurosun Mining? Because, you know, we are seeing your stock move upward. Yeah, I would say, uh, you know, we're, we're not an explorer. We're a developer. We've got the 10 million ounces M&I. We're in a mining license granted by the government, so significantly de-risk. So we're in that last stage of the developer kind of, uh, you know, Lasan curve, you want to call it, right? Uh, so I think this is going to grab a lot more attention because it will be a mine, and that means whether we build it or somebody else builds it, it's probably going to get uh, moved ahead in a construction phase in the next 12 months, which is a, a huge... Uh, a huge accomplishment for the for the company. Well, it is indeed, and of course, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about your acquisition you just announced completion for. Sure, uh, we had uh, already had a small stake in uh, Villamina Minerals, which is in Sweden and Norway. Um, good work over that. Our, actually, a lot of our guys worked on that project for the last two years, being based in Europe, so we know the asset well, and it's looking to be something quite interesting. And so we decided to up our stake to something more meaningful. So almost half of the company that we now own uh, and moving forward and uh, again restarting a, a project uh, in uh, combined in Sweden and in Norway. So uh, bi bi uh, bilateral kind of project to put it that way. I'd like to look at my notes here because we recently did a story titled what does 7 million ounces of gold plus 1.39 billion pounds of copper equal because we, we follow copper of course as well. Can you tell us what this story was talking about? Well, for sure. Like we are highly levered to both metals. You know, our revenue stream is probably seventy percent gold, thirty copper. But every ten on ten cents in gold is another ten million dollars on the MPV. Our copper is another ten cents on copper is another ten million MPV, and ten dollars on gold is another ten million on the MPV on gold. So great leverage to both. Uh, and the higher the copper price goes, and gold is a much better project uh, for all of us. So. And of course, I always forget to ask you this, but you're one of the most environmentally responsible companies as well. Can you talk to us about this? Well, for sure. And I think we're going to see the trend continue on the use of dry stack in tailings. You know, the traditional tailings management facilities, wet tailings, particularly for long life assets, you leave it behind a liability for 30 or 40 years after you're done, it's just not going to fly anymore. So having to go dry stack, which means you reclaim during the mining process so that you don't end up with this long-term environmental liability after you're done. And the fact we don't use cyanide anywhere in our process as well. So from a European perspective and from a global perspective, I think we're certainly adhering to the environmental social governance uh, uh, transactions that people are talking about. So what should shareholders and interested parties anticipate, say, in the next quarter or two, Scott? Well, we continue continue work on our on our feasibility study and on our, uh, our 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 local permitting. So we're no longer working on state permitting. We're working on our construction license, which is uh, a little boring sometimes, but uh, just a continued focus on that uh, in the short term. Well, Scott, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much for an update on Eurosun Mining. Great, thank you, Tracy.